Hey guys, it's Pope. I'm here at Marazzo's Market and today we are filming Fit for 50. I'm going to try to get a week's worth of groceries for under this $50 bill, which is going to be a big challenge. I follow flexible dieting, so this video is probably going to be a bit different than the ones you've seen before with bodybuilders and maybe the bikini models. Um, I don't limit any of my foods as far as my intake goes, so I'm going to try to get a good balance of fun foods and whole foods in the mix. And let's see what we can come up with. I've got a list ready, but I'm not sure it's going to be under $50, but we're going to try. Uh, starting with some bananas for carbs. Here's a five. These. Okay, and then you have two of these rotisserie chickens. Not a big cook, so we're getting some pre made chicken for the main protein for dinner stuff. Yeah, okay, so these are $6 each. We're backtracking to bananas, see how much they weigh. Never seen a scale go backwards. <laughs> okay, it's like this. Two, two and a half pounds. So dollar fifty-five plus twelve dollars and tax. So we have fourteen dollars already. Okay, next thing. Okay, I want to do bagels because you can get a lot of carbs for one package of things. Let's see. No price on those. This is a different brand. For $49, we'll save $0.20. Cents. All right, so you get six bagels, so that's going to be breakfast carbs for the whole week. So... We're already at eighteen dollars. <laughs> I want to get some regular bread now for sandwiches. Two ninety nine. I think they're cheaper down here. Dollar thirty. And I had planned on pop tarts and Oreos for my fun foods. Weightlifters eat a lot of carbs. Pop tart. Cookie dough. These are $2.99, but these are pre workout gains every day. $22.30 without tax so far. Two of these. Unless there's a cheaper one. Nine ounces, nine ounces. Okay, getting two packs of these to come up with 18 ounces of deli meat. And they're $4.99 each. So we'll say another ten dollars. So we're at thirty-two thirty-three without tax. Mini Oreos are $1.99 on sale. All right, six servings. I've just been informed there's no tax, so we're doing good. Georgia girl's not used to that. Okay, we're gonna get some sweet potato fries. See the macros. Six fat, 23 carbs. Six servings. Okay, perfect. Okay, well, we'll just call that four dollars. Is that forty-seven? Okay, that was everything I was gonna get. I'm worried we're cutting it really close, but it should be good. Definitely having a dilemma between six eggs, which I was gonna have one egg a day with my bagel in the morning to get a few grams of protein, 
and the Pop-Tart subbing out for the value brand will save me like a dollar. So then I could get the eggs. I guess that's what we're gonna do. Macros are about the same though. We'll go with brown sugar cinnamon. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna have 10 cents to spare. I ended up with $2 and some change, so we're gonna get real Pop-Tart. <laughs> yes, cookie dough. <laughs> this is what I really wanted. My total was $47.30 plus a dollar, because I exchanged something, so $48.30 crushed it. I think that went pretty well. I mapped out a day in my fitness pal beforehand and then multiplied it by the amount of days that I needed and having a game plan before I stepped in there definitely helped and ended up with a dollar left and I didn't have to put anything back and actually got the brand I wanted in the end of the pop tarts. So all in all it went really good. I got a lot of good protein and I don't have to do a lot of cooking either which is not my forte. And this is perfect for when you're traveling or at home for your week. And we didn't spend too much money. So now I'm gonna go lay it out what a full day of eating would look like and explain the macros. Back in the kitchen now, and I'm going to set up what a typical day with these foods that we bought at the store on a budget would look like for my diet. I'm going to break it up into a few different sections for the day and talk about some nutrient timing around my workouts and the total macros for the day too. So for total macros for the day, I'm trying to shoot for around 50 grams of fat, between like 210 and 250 grams of carbs, and 100 grams of protein and 110 grams of protein. So I try to plan my day with those numbers in mind and try to get somewhere in that range. For breakfast, started with kind of high carbs and low fat, knowing that I would train kind of earlier in the day. Second meal, kind of the same trend. We've got high protein there, uh, building up the protein macros for the day, but also carbs with the banana and the bread. Carb focused right before workout with the Pop-Tart and a little bit of fat in the Pop-Tart. Then getting my protein in right after training to make sure I start the recovery process. And then for dinner, got a nice balance of carbs, getting some greens in and high protein, and then finishing the day something to curb the sweet tooth without getting in a ton of calories. The budget definitely added in a factor that made it a bit more challenging and that you wouldn't get a lot of variety. Uh, this is pretty standard type of day if I was just at home all day, but eating this for five days in a row would get a little bit old, but when you're on a budget, there's pros and cons of what you, you get to do with your food choices, and this way you're saving money, even though it's a little bit boring to eat the same thing all the time. So it's definitely a challenge to try to make it work on the $50, but obviously you can do it. It's definitely still possible to have uh, flexible dieting along with trying to make this work on a budget. Uh, as you can see what I did here, I didn't really limit myself to any really boring foods. I could still find some options that was going to be more like fun foods and satisfy my taste buds that still were not spending a bunch of money. It also was really handy to pick up that pre-made chicken because I didn't have to spend a lot of money on seasonings or extra stuff to help prepare the chicken too, so I definitely saved a few bucks there getting something that was already made. The frozen options also, I think, saved a few dollars versus buying a bunch of sweet potatoes and again, having to buy oil and all of that to make french fries. All in all, I think we did a really good job here. Hope you guys enjoyed it and are looking forward to seeing some other athletes to put their own spin on these. It was really a fun challenge and a cool video to make for you guys. So give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel.